Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a practice config. Now, a practice config basically allows you to automatically set up a private server. So it allows you to have infinite ammo, infinite nades, uh, grenade trajectory, right? Like this. Bullet impacts. Um, basically infinite time. Um, and like you can buy anywhere, right? And like... Right, you can you can really buy anywhere uh, for anything you really need, and uh, it gives you cheats so you can fly around the map with no clip. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to set this up. And the first step is to get over to your desktop, and uh, I'll see you there. So once you're at your desktop, you're gonna want to open up your file explorer. Then you're gonna want to go to local disk. Then you're gonna want to go to program files 86. Then Steam then Steam Apps, then Common, then Counter-Strike Global Offensive, then CSGO, and then CFG. Now, once you've made it to CFG, you may or may not have all this stuff in it, and whether you do or you don't, it doesn't matter, and it won't affect how your practice config works. Now, I see I already have a practice config, and I already knew that, so I'm gonna delete it for the video, um, but, yeah, so to make it, you're gonna wanna just hit, you're gonna wanna right click and hit new and make either a new text text document. And if you have notepad, just change it, to, just use a notepad, right? Um, so for text document, you're just gonna wanna hit new and then click it. And then you're gonna wanna name it prac or whatever you really wanna name it. And then you're gonna wanna change it to .cfg, right? And then for me, it's gonna automatically change it over, but if it doesn't, you should still be fine and it should still work. So you're gonna hit yes and then open it up and then you're gonna to wanna to paste all of these commands into um, into your uh, prac.cfg. And there are three commands at the very bottom that I consider kind of uh, optional. Um, and I'll talk about what they do at the end of the video just so you guys know whether you want them or you don't. So yeah, now that you're done with this, you're gonna want to save it, close out of it and save, and then open up CSGO again. So once you have CSGO open again, you're gonna wanna get into a practice offline world. It doesn't actually have to be offline and it can be just be a workshop map so you can invite your friends to it. But, but in this case, um, all you're gonna wanna do is either go to practice with bots and change it to no bots, or you're going to want to go into your console and type in map de underscore and then any map you want. So I'm gonna do Inferno. And then once you load in, I'll explain more there. So once you've loaded in, all you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your console and type in exec and then whatever you named that CFG folder. So exec prac in our, in, in our case, right? So then it should automatically reset and execute. And you should have the money and uh, infinite ammo, uh, grenade trajectory, bullet impacts. You should be able to buy anywhere with cheats on. Oops, I cannot. Right, you can buy anywhere. And uh, yeah, um, so it should all be set up now. And that's basically it. So the last thing I want to talk about is those three commands I told you about that were kind of optional. But I personally find them... Um, very, very useful, and I almost always use it whenever I'm trying to practice a smoke or something, right? So I'm going to paste them into chat here just so you can see them and uh, what they look like. So this bind f5 frame host uh, to 0.05, this basically speeds up the server or the tick rate, and it makes everything faster, which allows smokes to dissipate faster. And uh, this one makes it... Uh, this one this one makes it so it sets back to default right back to the way it is right now and then this last one is no clip and most of you guys know what no clip is but it basically just allows you to fly around the map if you don't know what it is through walls and move around faster right so now i'm going to show you what the first two ones did right here so i'm going to throw a smoke down and uh then i'm going to hit f5 it's going to speed up the time and it's gonna make the smoke dissipate faster. And if I run around, you're gonna see how much faster it really is, right? That's crazy. And then once you hit F6, it's gonna go back to normal. 
right? And I'm gonna throw smoke and it's gonna take the normal amount of time for it to disappear. Okay, uh, we're not gonna watch that disappear. Uh, but this, this is the end of the video. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching and peace out.